Anyways, hey you guys, it's Yanga obviously and today I am back with another mukbang and today we are going to be mukbanging some conchas and some just like different assorted, it wasn't an assorted uh, package of Mexican pastries so I have like a big old cup of hot cocoa that I'm going to be drinking along with eating these I don't think I'm gonna eat all of them but they're just here so you could see them because they look pretty um do most of you have most of you guys tasted conchas I feel like I've well because I grew up on the east side of San Ho so I mean they had they always had like Mexican bakeries over there so I mean kind of grew up on it just like it's a nice thing to eat especially when it's like if it's morning time or like at night time it's just like a really nice um a nice tea time food I guess I hope everybody's doing good today I'm doing well um I don't have much to talk about I, I will say I was I was watching Sally Mangali's video today and she had like a question that she inserted from another YouTuber and um, I wanted to like piggyback, piggyback off of that topic. You know, I'm getting ready to uh, throw down on this food a little bit, but let me go ahead and put that question out there. First of all, uh, yeah, uh, well, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, put that question out there so you can be pondering it. So, if you had, were in a relationship, and I guess I'm going to just go ahead and say it to the women. If you were in a relationship, you know, and you allowed your husband <laughs> to have uh, female friends, or, you know, he had a female good friend, um, would it be okay with you if, uh, you know, he paid a bill for her here and there, now and then? Okay, is it, is it safe to come out? Okay. okay. All right. Now you heard the... So Sally <laughs> went around her job and was asking all the females. So basically the question was if you like say you were in a relationship and your dude had this really good girl friend. Not girlfriend but like a friend that's a girl. And he was paying a bill or two every now and then for her. Like would that be acceptable for you? So yeah, she pretty much walked around asking people at work that. And a lot of the girls were like, hell no. <sighs> like one of the girls was like, his money is my money. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just gonna talk about that. Cause I don't have much going on. It was pretty hot. Want to buy it? It looks like a cake, but it's, it's like, it's more of like a sweet bread. It's not overly sweet, though. I didn't think I was going to like that one. 
but I do. <clears throat> so back to the question um like if it's his mama if his mama needs like a bill or two paid I don't mind you know but like if it's somebody else another girl I would feel weird about that but I mean he should already know like if he's gonna put me in the predicament to be like annoyed with that because he's doing that then that's a whole different issue so I mean it is his money he could do what he wants with it but that's just like a matter of respect better not be paying anybody else's bills you know That's so good. That's so good. I would feel annoyed. Because I'm not he out here paying some uh, some other guy's bills. If you're one of my viewers and you guys are letting your your other half pay somebody else's other bills like like one of their friends or whatever, let me know the reasoning. Look at it. Look at it. Here, take a bite. Take a bite. So good. Look at that. Look at that. Here. I think my favorite part of the concha is this part. The little icing. It's like powdery. I don't want to explain it. It's like powdery. But it's sweet. But not overly sweet. And I feel like I keep saying that. Because it's not. Mm -hmm. I should have saved one of these. I'm just I'm gonna actually save this one for um for tomorrow's breakfast. Do you guys ever be at work and then all the um, <laughs> your co-workers who are married and like their other half doesn't work with them 
Did I lose like flirting with other coworkers? Who are also married to people who are outside of the um who don't work there? I always thought that was funny. You know how everybody has like a work hubby or a work wifey? I don't, but a lot of people do. I'm getting this icing all over me, but I don't care because it's good. Oh, I bit the inside of my cheeks. Speaking of cheeks, if you guys watched yesterday's video, you heard my boyfriend call me Sandy Cheeks. I've not seen that episode yet. We're just trying to hibernate. Isn't she from Texas? It's just a piece of cornbread. It's not Mexican. Serious question. So I put it on the plate. How do you have a heat stroke when you're swimming in the water? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Is it a glitch? My character, he's swimming in the water and he's dying because he's got heat stroke. Oh. That's weird. Man, Cause you're in the water, bad. wouldn't you be cool? <laughs> or well, you wouldn't be overheating, right? Yeah. Unless it was like too long that he was overheating, and now the water won't even get to him. Oh man, look at all these dragons. I don't know, man. Oh, I'm heat stroking. Yeah, get naked. It always helps. Um, dude, I need to finish my, um, I need to finish watching Steph and Tasha's video. They were eating, um, Hawaiian food for the first time. Oh, what? I know. I was like, first time? you guys never had Hawaiian food? Don't y'all live in L.A.? <laughs> Don't we got a whole bunch of, um, Hawaiian food places? Mm hmm Yeah. Dude. Q and Q. Oh yeah, Q and Q is way better than L and L's. I'm sorry. But they're basically the same thing to me. Well they make the same stuff. They make the same <laughs> stuff, but Q and Q's has better has better macaroni what? salad. If I'm right here. Their katsu what? sauce their is better. No. Yes, it is better than L and L's. Mm. You can't say it's the same. It's not. It's not. Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to throw this concha at your head. <laughs> but not fight me. Right, huh? go there right now. Be like, L and L versus Q and Q. Blindfold you. You'd be like, oh, it's Q and Q. No, it's L and L. No, L and L don't have tuna in their um, salad. Mm. They don't have it in their macaroni salad, so I already know. Oh, I'm drowning. I mean, no, period. <laughs> um, Just defecated myself. Oh, Lord. Um, I'm full. I, I'm i going to save this for breakfast. And the cornbread, I'll just save for tonight. I know that this mukbang was, like, everywhere. And it was kind of, like, nowhere. <laughs> it was, like, everywhere and headed nowhere. Um, but... I mean, it's it's one of them days. It's just one of them days. 
Hey, okay, so that's a that's a Monica song. I heard that. Um, have you seen those versus battles, babe, uh -uh. with like musicians, no. where they have like one musician versus another musician, and they play like they're like on live, and then oh. they play like all their tracks, like they go track for track, awesome. and then everybody kind of like determines who won. So, I think tonight, Brandy is going against Monica track for track so that should be interesting for the real R&B birds out there I would probably be outside watching it um but yeah hopefully I'm I'm sure it's gonna be a good one it ain't I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be like the baby face versus um Teddy Riley because Teddy Riley was a damn mess that time <laughs> Have you seen that one? No. Oh my god, Teddy Riley was like, he had his whole entourage in his studio and he was having so much like technical difficulties and like audio feedback and like it was just trash, right? Oh. But he had like all the theatrics, like he was like, he was like on the mic like doing like choreography. He was just doing way too much. And then on the other end, it was Babyface and it was just him alone in his studio. And he was just trying to be classy and everything like that. Yeah. And um, Teddy Riley was like, I'm hearing feedback. Is that you? Is that you? He was telling Babyface, right? And Babyface was like, uh, I'm the only one here. You know, I'm just uh, social distancing. <laughs> 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 and it was like shade, but it was so classy that it didn't seem like shade. But everybody was just like, oh, he shaded him. But yeah, that was so, f that was a funny versus battle but yeah today's battle should be good because you know you got two r&b singers they both came out around the same time they have like so many hits um yeah so i'm excited for that but yeah if you guys like conchas tell me in the comment section if you guys never had it find a mexican bakery next to you and try it because it's good Selling them at 7 Eleven. Oh, but it's best if you go to like a um, a Mexican bakery because it's more how, fresher, you know. Yeah, I don't know how fresh they are, but I've always seen them at 7 Eleven. Yeah, but those are pre packaged, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. So I'm pretty sure if you heat them up like in the microwave, like steam them kind of, they'll oh, like get softer. But like, it's always best to go to like you know, because they also have it at Food Max. Oh, really? Yeah, like oh, they yeah. have it like in their, um, you know, those their self-serve mm -hmm. um, bakery cases. Kind of like how some places have like um, bulillos and and um, like bagels and stuff like that. Um, so they have like, they have these in some supermar supermarkets. So yeah, you guys should try it. It's really good. It's perfect if you want something sweet but not overly sweet. Um, let me know if you guys ever tried it. Let me know if you guys, um, don't like it. And let me know if you guys like it. And let me know who you guys think is going to win. Brandy or Monica. Brandy. <sighs> Monica. I feel like Monica should win. I feel like Brandy should win. Why? I don't know. You don't even listen to R&B. I do you know. <laughs> you didn't grow up on R&B. <laughs> You're right. I didn't listen to it. <laughs> like... Four years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, a year before you met me? Well, that's all that Andy would listen to in the shop. Because R&B is Every good. Then, it's good for the soul. Everybody's like, oh yeah, I used to listen to this all the time back in high school. Like, what the hell? It's rhythm and blues, man. Can't get down to this. What? Can't get jiggy with this shit? No. I can't get jiggy with this shit. <laughs> um, Give me some Ariana Grande. Oh hell no! You know she's trying to sing R and B, right? She's probably gonna be. They probably won't let her because she's gonna be so good at it. No, she's already seen. Uh, she already sang R and B songs. Oh, it's probably fire then. She's oh, always good. trying to. Um, she can never be um, like Mariah Carey, but they were trying to pin her to be the next Mariah Carey. Cause she's well, she's obviously gonna be better than Mariah Carey. Okay, you know what? No, cause she don't even write her own songs. 
Mariah Carey writes her own songs. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can't get me mad right now. <laughs> oh, I'm really going to throw this damn concha at your, the back of your head. Oh my god, you're making me mad right now. <laughs> Um, so you don't have to do pranks when all I have to do is say that. <laughs> I know, yeah. You get under my skin really fast. You know what to say. You don't even have to prank me. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe if it's something that you like. If you do like this video, please make sure that you thumbs it up and share it out. Because sharing is caring and the more the merrier. Uh, make sure to spam up my comment section. I like to hear your feedback. Thank you guys so much who are those of you guys who are subscribed and um, I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye. Bye.